This is a project in Windsor, Ontario, that it really highlights some of the advantages of the silver cells. One of the things that you can see immediately is the spacing between the silver cells. So the silver cells are structurally independent of each other. You can see that some of these spacings are at the maximum 150, and then over to the right, they've squished those a little bit closer together to make things fit. Also, the configuration. So you can make things fit by rotating the silver cells. So you can see in some areas that we are running east-west, and sometimes the silver cells are running north-south. And so you get maximum support around your tree pits, but also that can help you fit the dimension of the silver cell into the area of work. The silver cells are a large, open, contiguous space. There's no cross beams in our system to get in the way of utilities. So you can see that they're running both irrigation and other utilities through the silver cells, bringing them up at ports, whether it be inside the tree pit or bringing them up in between the silver cells. You also can work with a rolling front. And so we see here immediately that we've got the decks on. This is a finished section ready for the geotextile to be rolled out. But farther down, they're still just laying out the bases and the posts, filling with soil. And so you can have a crew excavating, laying out bases, putting in posts, getting prepping the system ready for soil, and a crew working in behind them that's filling with soil, getting the decks on, and then and the utilities integrated and then keep moving.